Hi guys, it's Kristen from Blue Egg Brown Nest. Thanks so much for um, watching the tutorials and the feedback and I just hope that it's helpful um, to sh kind of visualize and show you what's going on and how I'm interpreting any and chalk paint. Um, I think the funniest comment I've heard from somebody is I have more paint on myself than the, the person, than the reader. Um, and yes, it's always important to look very, to, uh, wear your old paint clothes. I've even sacrificed some old Ugg slippers to the process, but it's all worth it. So, um, you can see that this is our piece that we're working on and I've sanded it. I've gone around and I've really sanded all the edges, all the places that is, um, are going to have natural worn um, surfaces as if it was a true, uh, truly getting rubbed and truly getting brushed and antiqued. So um, every surface, every door just really rubbed down and obviously you're going to have a lot of dust and sand. So I, I have a big, big soft brush, the biggest one that I could find because um, it makes quick work. And you just go around and you dust off all that dust that you just um, sanded off. Make sure it's clean because it will make a big difference. Because when you do the wax, the wax is obviously sticky and you don't want little dust particles in your wax because you will see them. So basically go around your whole piece make sure it's nice and clean at this point. Um, I use Annie Sloan Clear Wax because I use all Annie Sloan products and this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a candle wax. It's just like um, a soft it's not gooey and it's not sticky. It's literally like a candle. Um, and it also melts like a candle. So don't leave your pieces in the hot sun. When I did the Luckett show, I discovered that that's what happens in the beaming hot uh, late May sun. Um, sometimes it melts. But that's okay because you can just rub it back on. So I take my Annie Sloan wax brush. Um, FYI, a good tip if you want, once it gets cakey, I use it probably on several pieces and then it starts getting a little bit cakey. The best thing to use is lye soap. You can buy a bar of it, L-Y-E, lye soap, um, in your hardware store. And if it doesn't come off just, um, brushing the soap on, you, what I sometimes do is I soak it in a bowl. I just put, um, kind of goop up the soap and make it sudsy and then just put my wax brush in there, leave it for overnight or a few hours and then when I come back to it, I can literally kind of just um, flake off the wax. But you really do need a wax brush because if you just use like a cheesecloth or um, a buffer cloth, it's much harder to get into those cracks, it's much harder to get um, a coverage and it's really not as fun. So. Use your Annie Sloan wax brush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip it in. And when you're doing a, the clear wax, the idea is you want complete coverage. And you'll see as I go along, the, wax, the paint is going to get a more, um, a darker, more rich color. And you just want to make sure you have pure coverage. So the best way to do it is obviously just to show you. Um, don't be delicate or ginger with a wax it's not important and you can see obviously it gets like a deeper richer color you want to make sure you really get the entire surface honestly i clump it on my brush and you want coverage you don't want to leave spots and just let it clump up because after this you're going to go around and you're going to buff it with your cheesecloth or your um, rag or whatever you may have. This is where the workout comes in, ladies. Working out those arm muscles. So keep going. You're going to do the whole thing. 
I am not going to do the whole thing in front of the, this camera because it would take a little, it would take a little bit of time. Um, you get the idea though. No need to be delicate. Sorry, that's the FedEx man going by. But today we have no screaming children, no one falling off bikes. There everyone's in school. It's good morning. Um, so you get the idea. You just want to make sure you have total coverage. Then, what you're going to do after the clear wax goes on, you're going to take your cheese cloth or your drop cloth that you've cut up or whatever it is, a dish cloth, let's not get fancy here, um, whatever you can find, and you're going to rub off the excess wax. See, I don't know if you can really see it, but you rub it off. really go really hard over it because what's going to happen is that once you let it dry it's going to get a little bit of a sheen to it that chalky texture is going to go away and that rough um, to the touch it's not rough but um, matte more of that matte texture is going to go away it's going to be smooth And you don't want wax sticking to anything. I mean, obviously it'll clump in the corners, but you want to try to clean that off as best as possible. Um, so you just want to go over your entire piece like that. And you see the color difference. This is the matte, just with a uh, chalk paint, and here you have the wax. That's what the cl clear wax does for you. And it's just a more finished look. Here comes the FedEx man again. We'll see if he's coming to my house. No, he's not coming to my house. Don't worry, DH. I have not ordered any new furniture or upholstery items. That's next week, just kidding. Um, so, important step is, again, what I found and other painters might do it differently. Um, I let the wax uh, sit overnight. I let 24 hours go by. So I'm going to wax this entire piece and then I'll come back to it tomorrow um, because I think it just, it adheres, again in my opinion, um, it adheres, it, it just uh, gives it time to really, um, you know what I'm trying to say. It gives it time to really uh, absorb into the wood and fully dry. Curate! That's it. It gives it time to curate. Um, so the next time you see me, we are going to work on dark wax, which is, it might be the hardest part of the process because it's not straightforward. It's really left up to your interpretation of what you want the piece to look like, but it's fun and you shouldn't get scared of it. Um, we'll talk more about that later, but again, I use the Annie Sloan Dark Wax. So, till then, thanks for watching.